this video is meant for the ones that want a long, healthy relationship, that want to build trust with a significant other, that feel a void in their love lives. Yes, this is also directed to men. Several months ago, I uploaded a similar video with this title, but due to some reasons, I had to take it down. Now, many of you ask me through Instagram and through Facebook, please put it back up. For some, I sent the unlisted link, but then I thought, let me redo this video and just share my thoughts on this topic again. It seemed to be pretty controversial because I think a lot of people also don't understand it. They don't agree with it, but a lot of people did. Women, stop being promiscuous. People can do what they want to do without hurting anyone else. I do see this big push towards women to act and behave and be like men. Women wanting to become equal to men in today's society. They want the same jobs, long working hours, and they think that being a housewife is degrading. They say feminism is here to create equality between females and males. But I think that that movement is very negative towards men. And I find it stupid. Women and men are different. We need each other. We balance each other out. But we are different. Men usually stronger, more aggressive, more ambitious, and they are more action oriented. Women usually have more empathy, are more attentive, and tend to be more insecure. Yes, we have feminine and masculine traits. That's how we categorize things. Of course, there are men who have a lot more feminine traits. There are females that have a lot more masculine traits. There is nothing wrong with that. But we do have to know that there are differences. Not one is better than the other, but men can do some stuff better than women and women can do some stuff better than men. Some stuff we women do, we, we suck at. Same goes for men. The world would be even a crazier place if we didn't have one without the other. Another way we like to categorize is with beta and alpha males and females. I do think we can apply this to females as well. So I hear this big excuse that females make. Men can sleep around and the more the cooler. But when a female does that, she's a hoe. And yes, I do agree with that. Let me tell you why. It is harder for a man to get with a female. He needs to gather all his courage, walk up to her, talk to her, and probably chances are high he will get denied. The woman mostly has all the power to say yes or no. Women tend to have men lined up for her. When a man can get with a woman, it's kind of an achievement because he, it is not that likely for him, him to get with a woman. But females have men lining up for them. Women don't have that problem of being rejected. They are doing the rejecting. It would be more of an achievement for her to say no. Now, I'm not judging anyone on what they want to do. You do you. But do know that your actions have consequences. I think if you want to be in a long-lasting relationship where you build trust, where you're together and loving each other, going to the tough times, to the good times, for a long time, then you shouldn't go and sleep around. Sleeping around with everybody who comes in your path, with everybody who gives you some attention, I think that is a path to destruction. You will be messing up your mind like that. Just think about it. If you're a guy, you don't want to be with a girl, like settle down with a girl who had 10, 20, 30 partners. Men in general attach themselves less. They are less emotional. Females, it's the other way around. They are more emotional, less logical, and attach themselves quicker. When a man sees a red flag in a girl, he can say goodbye really quick. A girl cannot do that so quick. Females are more emotional, more attached, like I said, and they want protection. 
They want a logical, strong man that can give them to them. A real man. A man who is less emotional, more rational, and has its both feet on the ground. You see how they balance each other out? So I really find this push on women, especially by the media and such, to be really damaging, especially for the young girls that are very vulnerable to such messages because they consume media in the daily. They have no idea yet about the repercussions of their actions. Now, I'm not saying with this either that men have a free pass, they can do what they want, but I do think they are less affected by it than women if they have multiple partners. The best advice I could give you is to sleep with someone you truly love. Because most of the times, everybody regrets their first time. To build trust, you can't sleep with everybody you meet. There is also statistics showing that females who have more than one or two partners they will be eventually less happier in marriage. The more partners she has, the less stable she is in her mind, the less happier she will be in marriage. With men, this is less. If you want somebody that is trustworthy, kind, and lovable, then you have to be that yourself. If you don't want your partner to have had many, many multiple partners, then do, don't do that yourself. You attract what you are. You attract what you do and what you think. The biggest message I want to give in this video is to take care of your self-worth and figure out what it is that you want and don't want on the inside. If you meet someone, don't right away go to bed with them. Figure out who that person is if you really like them or love them then the chances are less that you will regret it and talk shit about the other gender, for example. Don't just blindly follow what media tells you about love, about sex, about promiscuity and how cool that is. How it is empowering to females, which I think is total bull crap. Sure, if you resonate with that from within, then it's okay, right? But if you feel like this is pushed on you, you feel forced to be like that because that is trendy or hip, then you have to think twice. You're damaging yourself. So what do you think about this topic? Leave it in the comment section down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think you can have a happy, long-lasting relationship if you have been with 30 people before. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. My social media links will be in the description box down below. You can email me for a lifestyle consultation and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!